Justin Lee Harold here with Dish and Days. We are here at Day of Days 2022 here at the Xbox Plaza. I am joined by two amazing icons for Days. We have the lovely Mary Beth Evans here. Hello. Hi. And the dashing, handsome Mr. Stephen Nichols. Hello. How are you both today? How are you? We're feeling? so good. Great. Doing great. Yeah. yeah. This is a fun. It's a fun event. I mean, I, we've yeah. all missed it, so it's great to be back. Yeah. How do you prepare for a day like this? Is it a lot of caffeine, a lot of energy, a lot of rest leading up to sleep, it? Sleep, yes. Sleep. Got to get a good night's sleep yeah. if you can. I'm ready for lunch, though. I'm yes. hungry. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. Hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the things I was talking with um, Teo and Leanne early, and, and um, what, one of the things I said to them sort of applies to you both that when we see you on screen as, as um, Patch and Kayla, there's just an ease there. There's a comfort there. Is that a reflection of your talent? Is it a, the chemistry of your actual friendship? Is it all of it? Is all it? Of it. Yeah, all <laughs> of it. But the, the truth is, with Mary Beth and me, we have been very tight from the very beginning we we just had that chemistry naturally mm -hmm. and that's and something really, that's a blessing shook us it's up too blessing. much you know what i mean like they we haven't i mean we haven't been with that many other people where there's some people on the show been with, so i don't even oh my god you're with that person no i didn't know so we haven't had that which has been pretty swell right i think only deidre and drake and us probably you know and um and that's great, but and we have been great friends, and we are great friends. And we also put in the time. We usually really run our stuff a lot and, and try to get the lines down so we can let that go and then get out there and just, we always say, like, we get out there just like, let's just play now because that's, the, you know, we, we got the, we did the homework, so. Yeah. And that definitely shows, I think, one of the things um, fans remark is that we, we get why you're together at this stage, too, and we, we saw why you were together originally. It's not just we're putting them together because they're a super couple right. and yeah. resting on your laurels, but... No, that's nice yeah. that you see that. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We see it with the sweetness, with the way you touch each other, where you stand close to each other. It's all of that. It comes across. It mm -hmm. definitely does. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're just so lucky. <laughs> yeah. We're so yeah. darn lucky. I know. We are yeah. really lucky. How are you loving the expansion of the Johnson family now? I mean, we've got the sort best. of the kids. We are so happy and that Abigail they brought all three three children back oh my gosh recently inside She's and wonderful. out doll baby for sure and our new joey is very mm -hmm. good we love him mm -hmm. and then of course and lucas yeah, no, what a it. what a dream boat that yeah. kid is such and he a looks pleasure. like he would be his son doesn't he, does. he look so much Actually, like yeah. him. they're getting the yeah. casting for your children amazing I, well already. i think yeah. marnie the casting director yeah. is amazing marnie Saeda is wonderful She's oh my gosh a, even the smallest oh part on there the show. he is just, just, come in. Come in. Yes, yes, come in. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Orpheus he was, is here. Uh -oh. The whole, oh, yeah. the whole tone of the interview oh, yes. will now change. We were, <laughs> the music changed right now. We were just walking outside, and he had his hand on my shoulder. We were talking, and a, a fan out there just was like, oh, so, oh no. Orpheus. Oh, no. No, but the funny thing is, at first, I was like, oh, oh, my gosh, it's Kayla. Oh, oh, you're with him? And I'm, it was like, you could see the whole, the mind go, wait, she's with that? This isn't right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And of course, we have Mr. George Ohio here. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. What is this chemistry like now versus what it was maybe 30 years ago or how you approached it, playing those characters that had The chemistry been between the three of us? Yes. We were saying earlier well, that he, he, he needs to get over his grudge. Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's better because we're better. I think we're we're you know we're older and we've lived a lot of life and yes, yes. and so we life bring more to it. Yeah, and so that's what's actually richer. really nice too about being on this show is that we've you know our characters have aged along with us. You know, kind of thing. It was like we're not trying to be something that we're not. So yeah. that part's nice. Yes. Yeah, but there's that kind really of longevity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When it comes to Orpheus, we love to hate him, but he has. I don't know, he has that sort of um, tender side, or we, he has that, um, God, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Humanity? Yeah. Humanity, yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. yeah it's nice that they've marbled those things in, that they're things he does care about and love for his wife. I mean, he really is like been grieving for 36, seven years. But, uh, <laughs> and with his children. Yeah. yeah, and his children. He cares about them. And um, and so they and and of course they they leaven the the darkness with humor and wry commentary and he's very insightful and bright and so that that ma it makes it fun to play and I think it makes it more palatable for people to watch. Yeah. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm going to jump into the game here. A little game I like to call Writers Room. Here, oh. I'm going to pretend that you three are writers for your character or the okay. show, and I'll I'll give you a few questions here. Okay. To see, um, has your real life ever influenced the storyline? 
Well, I, I will say that people say, are you anything like, or is your life like Kayla's? I go, well, nobody in my family's been kidnapped, thank God. <laughs> Nobody's had a chip in their brain. Nobody, you know, so. Well, for, when, I, when I was, uh, let's see, when my son was five years old, he played me as a little boy really cool. in the orphanage. Wow. That was cool. My son Aaron, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. and well, so yeah, my real thing. life yeah. influenced yeah. the show in that yeah. way. Yeah. And my daughter was actually on the show at one point. But I think, uh, you know, in a, not that this helped the story, but for us being parents, really, mm. and that, you know, that when you have your character, your child, I think you bring that with you. Well, you for know. sure. Yeah. Right. I was going to say that, uh, artistic, Mary Beth. No, no. Uh, that, that, uh, uh, yes. I think generally, it's that life experience. Uh, oh, when I talk to my child or son or daughter on the show, I, I have children, adult children, so it's just different. I, I often, I don't know if you guys feel that, you ever see an actor talk to a kid and you go, I don't think this person's ever had kids. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Because yeah, the baby talk sure. and whatever and the way they talk, and I go, that's, yeah. that's, not, that's not how you talk to your kid, you know? Right. And right. so I think that um, just having life experience and, and those relationships just uh, enriches and informs the performances. Yeah. Yeah. If you could change a storyline from your character's past or rewrite it a little bit, what would you do? This is not a game. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is not a game. <laughs> so go ahead, Mary Beth. Is there anything I have you'd a very like bad memory. I don't remember. There's so you, you know so much. these days. It's hard to put yeah, together yeah. all of those stories yeah. and all of those years. Yeah. I didn't like it when he was. You know? uh, I didn't like it when he was Stefano because okay, he was so yes, mean to me. <laughs> And you, you had didn't to like with somebody else. Well, too. on that note, yeah. Yeah. exactly that. I, I would have changed that she actually went on to uh, with another man. I did. With Justin. I did go. Yo, you we would, should you, not have done oh, that. Oh, he didn't like it. I still even, haven't, even I still Stefano, haven't gotten over jealous. it. Even as Stefano, I haven't gotten even over it. Even as Stefano. <laughs> but I feel right, a pang of jealousy. Last question before we go. Um, which character or characters would you bring back to the show if you were a writer? Mm. Back, back to days you of mean our people lives. People that you could bring back, or even yep. if they're gone Dead, from the whatever. Earth. We have Dr. Rolf. Well, well, I'd like to bring my parents well. back. Okay. I really, Peggy McKay, yeah. I just love her so much. So, yeah. 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 She wonderful. wonderful. She was amazing. I learned so much from her. One thing that she was so amazing at was um, props and things. She was always busy, you know. Doing it, drying a t with a bar glass, or she was so busy yeah, with that. You so know who else is yeah. good at that? This guy. Mr. Yeah, he knows uh, how to I, use those props. I, I, thank you. He brings them fun. in. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, he brought a whole oh, bag of oranges. Oh, eating in his seeds. Yeah. He brought a he whole bag of oranges. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Somebody wrote. Somebody said, Why are you always cleaning your glasses? <laughs> oh, come on, man. You know. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I, I'm gonna take lesson from you now, then too. It's yeah. busy work, right? Keeps your yeah. Yeah, no, I, I picked, I, I, and the prop guys, they're so sweet, but I go, you get, can you get me a deck of cards? What? Yeah, okay, sure, oh, they got to no, run out. No, okay, no. What are you, and then they go, okay, and I start playing cards. You know what I mean? Just anything to kind of take a bit of the onus off of this stuff, you know, and make it. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's a stuff. good I'm gonna technique, I'm going to start eating man. some oranges yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> not oh with those braces, I have, baby. I have yeah. braces right now, and everything's <laughs> spitting out of it, so I think maybe not. Yeah, no. yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you for the great work that you do. Of course, we we just love this trio. One of our favorite shows we're streaming or anything. Or you know, sometimes we get those questions. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. What's your favorite show you're streaming? No, we'll leave that to the other interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you so much. Yeah.